Needing up pre-season, Mitch, you're pretty good, Nick. Yeah, not too bad. Um, I really concentrated on the off-season. Um, you know, I wanted to come back with the skin folds under good body composition and um, you know be able to run well as well. So, um, been pretty happy so far. But you know, we've still got a couple of weeks left. Have you had a chat with Don about where you might fit in? Um, yeah, you know, probably looking around the wing, um, half forward, even a bit of a rotation through the mid. So. Um, you know, this year is really a big year for me. I only, obviously, I only got the one-year deal, and um, really looking to consolidate a spot. Well, you got, you'll have hopefully more opportunity without that sub rule um, this year. Is that sort of uh, changing the way you approach your training? Are you approaching with a bit more vigor, knowing that you know you're not going to have to, you might not have to sit on the bench? Um, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have thought I'd change anything I'm doing. Um, it just obviously gives an, an extra opportunity for another player to get a, a full game instead of knowing that you, you know, you're know you probably going to just come on the last quarter. Um, so it's it's obviously you know a lot a lot better as a player that's sort of one of those guys who gets looked at to be the sub. Um, you know, it's it's yeah going to work out a lot better for those sort of guys. Is it just the, uh, the skin folds and the fitness is the main thing that you're focusing on this process? Um, oh, definitely not. That's just my, that was just my one goal to come back in that in good nick, um, to, you know, to get the the ball rolling, uh, so to speak, for, for pre season. But um, you know, it's still uh, myself personally. I'm working on repeat speed, and um, instead of getting in, in court and just grinding out games, um, you know, the, the games dealt a lot of you know handball receives, and you know, you got to be keep going at speed. So um, you know, I'm trying to work on that as well. So you've been told anything sort of definitive, like. You know, this is this is what we want to see from you this year. This is what you've got to do, improving these certain areas to make sure that you're in the team constantly. Or is it more just is it pretty general? Yeah, it's pretty general. I think um, yeah, you've always got things you need to work on, but you also got to keep working on your on your weapons, so to speak, as well. So um, I know personally for me, you know, defensive transition and um, repeat speed is probably the two things that um, I needed to work on the most. Um, but then also keep working my on my kick and my running abilities. Have you been in the system a few years now? How are you finding it under Pikey? Yeah, Pikey's he, he's a real legend. He's um you know, he's he's got the respect of the group really quickly and um gets his message across really clearly and and um yeah the, the boys are definitely all following in the, in the right direction. Are you a fan of the music during the training? Yeah, no, I've I've uh, don't mind a bit of music. I'll uh, put it on all the time around the house and that sort of stuff. So it definitely helps uh, get the boys up before training and um, you know creates the energy if it's not there. Sam Jacobs, I think, nominated your techno music, I think, is the worst that he's heard at the club. Yeah, well, I mean, we could turn it around and say he's got the worst slow, slow boring music. So, but um, no, nah, I mean, I like to think I've got a bit of variety there, but I don't mind me to the techno beats too, so. Is it um, no working on the things that you touched on? So. The selectors and the coach really have no other options other than to pick it. Is it just about covering all the bases so they have to get you in there? Yeah, I think just um, it's all the little things. Like, don't have, if it comes between two blokes, don't be the guy that, you know, has one thing wrong with him, so they pick the other guy. Um, so I think just working on little things um, so that when it comes to selection, that you know, you're not one of those guys that they, they push to the side because there's one one little thing wrong or something like that. Do you feel having a one year deal, do you feel a bit under the pump? I mean, you touched on it like it's a bit make or break, but. What sort of pressures do you feel personally? Um, not not really many pressures at all, to be honest. Um, you know, it's yeah, it's a one-year deal, and you don't know what is ahead of that. But you know, if if I could say right now what I want to happen, it'd be to play consistently, and then if it happened to get offered something else down the track, then that'd be great. But um, initially, I'm just I'm just thinking about you know getting through pre-season and, and getting through NAB Cup, then round one. So um, that's my thought process at the minute. You just sort of talked about that direction as being quite general for you personally but what's the process like when you sign a one year contract does that come with a fair bit of feedback as to why you're only being offered a one year deal and this is what you need to do to obviously you know they see a future for you here but if you only sign that one year deal do you just get told if you want a three year deal say this is what you need to do or anything like that? I think uh, it was probably really a really fair decision uh, to be honest I mean um, I was in and out the side and you know not really consolidating a spot um, you know those three deals don't come for those sort of players so you got to work hard and you got to you got to earn that um, that you know, earn respect to be able to get that three year deal but um, you know I'm just I'm just happy with the one at the minute and I'm just going to work on you know trying to get a spot in the team